Flanked by the Secret Service and circled by police officers, law enforcement was meant to keep Donald Trump safe. But somehow, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks came within centimetres of assassinating him. We're going to show you, using footage from multiple angles, what was happening while Trump was speaking and, second by second, when the threat to Donald Trump's life was first identified to build a detailed picture of exactly how law enforcement reacted before and immediately after shots were fired. The shooting takes place at 6.11.33. But to understand how law enforcement prepared security for the rally, we need to go back. It's just gone 5 p.m. Trump was set to speak at the top of the hour, but he's running late. The crowd is gathered and eagerly awaiting the former president's arrival. He's due to speak on this stage at the front. Around 450 feet away is the AGR International Building, a bottle manufacturing business, where Thomas Crooks will eventually take his shot. And here, behind Trump's stage, there are three bleachers filled with his fans. At around seven past five, one of those fans positioned here films a man who appears to have the same outfit and hair as Crooks milling around the AGR building and looking up at the roof. We're able to sync the live stream with the footage shot from the bleachers by using this Elvis song. If I Can Dream, which is playing in the background, and by matching what you can see on the screen. Now they're synchronised, let's wind it back. Look again. You can see this is the exact moment snipers climb onto the roof behind Trump's podium as a person matching the description of Crooks is walking near the building. Just after 5.30, this photo and a description of Crooks is circulated by police to the Tactical Command Centre. It was taken around 10 past 5 at the event, though it's unclear where he was at the time. God bless the USA. Back at the rally and now running more than an hour late, Trump arrives just after 6pm, flanked by a Secret Service detail. After a few minutes of greeting and amping up the audience, Trump begins to speak. This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. At nine minutes past six, people listening to Trump from here, outside the event, start to panic. Look, they're all pointing. Again, using the audio from the footage, we're able to match it to the exact moment in Trump's speech. The crowd spots Crooks, who is now lying down on the roof of the building. Less than two minutes before the first shots are fired, the footage shows police walking around the building, seemingly unable to see what these onlookers can. There he is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. In another video, filmed at the exact same moment from the main crowd, we see the snipers have turned in the direction of the gunman Crooks, who, remember, is in position on the roof here. People with sight of Crooks get increasingly worried. When they first try to alert police, there's still a minute and 27 seconds until Trump is shot. Officer, people in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have a minute and seven seconds before the first shots are taken, sitting behind Trump in the bleachers, this person also seems to spot something. And with just 11 seconds to go, this soldier, who appears to be behind the bleachers, makes a hand signal, but it's not clear what it means. Now there are only nine seconds before the first shot is fired we have four different vantage points of the imminent attack. On the main camera, we see Trump speaking about immigration. From a second angle, filmed from the bleachers behind Trump, we see a Secret Service officer tell a photographer to move. From our third point of view, outside the event, near the rooftop, people start to run. And from this fourth video, filmed in the crowd, we see a sniper poised for action. Then the really shots are fired. Said, Take a look at what happened. Trump ducks beneath the podium and Secret Service personnel immediately leap on top to protect him. We hear nine shots, though it's not clear which are fired by crooks and which by law enforcement. And then one more. 
We do know at least one of these shots killed rally attendee Corey Compator and seriously injured two others. In this video, filmed near Crooks' rooftop, we hear the fate of the gunman, just 31 seconds after the first shot. He's dead. I just seen his hair blow up, they shot him in the head. He's dead. Holy f 13 seconds later, the Secret Service confirms Crooks has been neutralized. They pull the bloodied former president to his feet and move him off stage as the crowd films and chants. Almost immediately after the shooting, people began examining the security decisions that ultimately allowed Thomas Crooks to open fire on Donald Trump. Director of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheetle, has told ABC News the shooting was unacceptable. Homeland Security called it a security failure. How is it that an hour before the shooting, snipers were in position while a man who looked like Crooks scanned the building? Around 40 minutes before, police were circulating a photo of Crooks. And minutes before, the crowd was raising the alarm that a man was on the roof overlooking the rally. He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. Trump was still allowed on stage to speak, almost assassinated, and a man lost his life. 